in the previous episode of Imperial Ambitions. That war was actually pretty damn good from the Lübeck, because here we got France, Burgundy and Pop. That was only Thier and Lübeck fighting in this war and pushing them back. He got <laughs> pissed off and he recruited 80,000 marks. He already, he's already down to 63,000. <laughs> so he recruited the marks, he pushed back France, they got a white piece. Dalmatia fighting against Bavaria and Frankfurt, and Dalmatia is slowly starting to have issues with his manpower. Bavaria just paused knowing that he cannot win this war, and he's enforcing the 30 percent rule he's bavaria has lost 325 lubeck has lost 230 and trier has lost 170 with frankfurt 151 ah, hey, welcome hey. back everyone oh, we should i think jump straight back to the game because there's so much thing happening we have to show that to everyone oh, blue flames we have the freeze oh the, the dutch and freeson's whole army is overseas in japan <laughs> no what's he gonna do the poor guy he never stood a chance and look poor how many guy. rebels he is loading 15 different rebel factions loading across the whole world oh yeah sealand is a bit overextended to say <laughs> the least that's so funny i wonder what netherlands that's cheeky that is so cheeky right there oh now the netherlands might actually get back into the netherlands dare i say mm. <laughs> Question is how much war score can he even get just from the Netherlands? Look, it's just 10. It's just gonna be also ticking war score. It's 35. They're gonna get call capital right now, so they might get like up the to 40. The capital will probably be like 15, right? Let's, let's What's see. This? It's 21. So they're gonna get to 46 war score of ticking. So he could enforce for one province. Look who's in the war. It's his subjects, Mori in Japan, Toshiba <laughs> in Japan, and Ternate over in Southeast <laughs> Asia in, in Malacca. Now wait for Mori to get on the ships and get to Europe. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Ternate, like one of the spice islands is... <laughs> now imagine... If if Sealand actually moves his capital Japan, changes his culture oh. and religion and forms Japan. That, that would be would lovely. Be, that would be incredible. Do you think he has a plan or do you think he's just goofing around? Because I, I don't necessarily know if I think either one. I don't know. I, I, it's just Sealand doing Sealand stuff. And actually, I just got a message from Lemon in his rights. It's all part of the capital state. So Netherlands cannot do, take, take anything oh. from this. <laughs> As part of this mod, you are not allowed to take land in a country's capital state that is a player. I so, mean, yeah. you can take it, but it's returned immediately <laughs> after the war. This is a recon, but it is reconquest. Curious. Ah, that's weird. Yeah, he cannot do anything. He's got cores on all his provinces. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, because remember, <laughs> he, he gave them this promise. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's too funny. So, apparently, the war is for Canada. But are they even fighting in Canada? They're not. Uh, it's reconquest of Ostfriesland. Yeah. So maybe, but he still cannot enforce anything with just these promises. He would need to get actually to the new world. Yeah, but look at look at the uh, Sealand's war exhaustion. It's going up. I guarantee it's going up like 0.5 per month or something crazy. Point like fifty six. Yeah. Oh my gosh. He might want to be out soon, especially uh, if amount of the rebels loading. He doesn't want the national honors <laughs> to increase much more. At the end of the month, he's going to have over six national unrest from war exhaustion. Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, like what can he honestly do to get out of this war? He's a friend than... in Europe to protect him. I would honestly go for the formation of Japan. That would be the coolest thing on this campaign. Hold on, lads. We have it. We have a war between the Ottomans and the, and the Commonwealth. So Ottomans have 400,000. Commonwealth has 200,000. Prussia has 100,000. So they're like... They're Ottomans have like over a hand key of advantage and they're building more and more and more if you see the hordes but, of new troops. But the Commonwealth has... Okay, so they're down 8% discipline, but they're up... 0.6% 0. 0. morale. Yeah, and 75% scuff compatibility. And they have, they both have really high tradition. That's gonna be interesting. Professionalism is very much in the Commonwealth flavor though. That war should be very close. I, I bet for a slight advantage of the Ottomans, but mm -hmm. uh, Poland and Prussia might uh, really have a chance of winning that. But that extra professionalism might be a big deal, right? Because he's gonna be doing an extra 2% damage overall Ooh. so what is that two percent extra casualties i can't say it's gonna be ma massive but yeah still. it's something it's not massive um but yeah it's it's something <laughs> and i don't know oh. if you see but uh, ottomans actually did what i said when we were looking at lubeck he started slackening recruitment at the start of the war so oh, he first he takes care of uh, down the army professionals and then he's gonna start recruiting mercs you think they're gonna death war right now i hope so <laughs> that's what they're looking oh, for I hope so. <laughs> oh my gosh Ottomans are fighting man a minus two battle in gola and i don't think he's gonna even re oh he's reinforcing that that might he's be a losing mistake. the war in budapest but he's reinforcing both of them he's gonna yeah. lose both of those he's not ready to fight this yet he didn't bring all of the troops into here and like poland is like 200% ready. So I think they're going to push. Yeah, they're going to push him easily. The Ottomans have so many cavalry right now. Yeah. 
Oh, look at him. He's going to stack like himself on B B Budapest. Yep. No. Yep. No. And another, yeah, <laughs> oh, more. Those guys got stack wiped too. That's oh what we gosh. call a stack wipes festival. So we have the Commonwealth actually aggressing against the Ottomans, then the Ottomans aggressing in battle and getting demolished. Yeah, the he... Ottomans have lost 200,000 men already, bro. And I think he was like 60k wiped because he had more troops. Oh. He's down to 376,000. I think he, he decided to start fighting a bit too early. He wasn't ready. He was still building troops, organizing his stacks, like 30k is coming from Arabia. Yeah. He should... yeah, he's, oh, he and Dalmatia is in this war as well. Just Dalmatia through... joined? No, Dalmatia he, he joined? just sent a condottieri stack to Poland. <laughs> Oh, he, he's he taking wants, his he, revenge. He wants revenge for Herzegovina. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So also worth noting, Transylvania is still a subject of Dalmatia. <laughs> they haven't touched land in like 80 years, but he's still a subject. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is crazy. Okay. So this is this very well may be a really good war. Yeah. I expect yeah. this war to be super even. And I think we're oh, even yeah. talking about no that a bit earlier, right? Oh, that... Look at his look at his army. He has a four hundred and thirty thousand men in the field right now. He had the same amount at the start of the war. Uh just he got oh. wiped a bit. We don't we don't want to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see because the condot here are about to fight the first battle. Ooh, oh the and that's a minus three. That's a hundred percent discipline Dalmatia. <laughs> He's got better morale, but yeah, that uh, those extra tactics are gonna be crazy. Yeah. That's a that's an L. Just take the L and run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, if I was Dalmatia I would Use a Merc stack to send it to a oh, second oh, oh. tier. Got a battle over here in, uh, That's in a um, minus Serbia. One. Just a minus one. Not too bad. Did you see that shock a face? Nine to a one. Nine to a one. And then another nine to a one. Oh, 3,000 a day <laughs> in the shock face. <laughs> oh, and the wing hussars are arriving. Oh, man. Does he actually yeah, have it's... any wing hussars being on that? Oh, he has 10, 10k. Okay, he's got That's him. Something They're there. Definitely matters. He a zero to a nine yeah. again. Oh my gosh, these rolls are so gosh, so terrible. I'm interested actually how many camels each of the sides has. Sixty-four thousand from Ottomans and thirty k. Okay, Prussia just got a bunch in. Both, yeah. both uh, Prussia and Poland has thirty k. So you know both sides Prussia have the same amount. 32 percent discipline. Nice. Prussia. Let's go. Oh, he, militar gosh. he militarized. He changed his government type. Wait, oh, did he? Yeah, militarization. He didn't have it before, so yeah, yeah. this is just the tr this is traditional militarization, right? This isn't even Prussian. Let's see. Is it? How does that work? I don't know actually how he that works. He's having Prussian monarchy. It's a Prussian monarchy. Interesting. Look how so, close this battle is. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's and, uh, another 30k uh, getting stacked. Oh my gosh. I am in awe. Look at the casualties, bro. Oh, oh, we are already so looking sorry. at 450,000 losses on the Ottoman side. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Timurids have re rest in peace those 120 Timurid men. And you know that what's is... the best part? Right now, Poland can finish Eco Ideas. That's another 5% discipline. Oh man. What about what about Prussia? Where's Prussia for their idea group? Oh, they went in for their fourth idea. Oh yeah, for 45% infantry contability. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Look, they have a six six four four general. Is high at a minus three or yeah, it's a it minus, minus three. three. Yeah, leave it to Prussia. <laughs> <laughs> but look, look at Poland just falling back. The lot, he's dude. Ottomans are taking three to one losses right now. <laughs> and Poland just oh changed, changed their minds oh, and they're coming. At... Oh, uh, then they're getting that's, attacked. That's a good that's a minus one. That's, that's a good smart. Battle. That's a smart battle. Yep. Yeah, but uh, oh, Poland so did not Ottomans have enough. Minus one. Poland did not have enough troops in the front row, so he has some cannons in the front row now. Yeah, I, I see that. It's oh, a waste. goodness gracious! He's gonna reinforce. You see that Dalmatia has like no morale in his uh, condottieri. He was actually <laughs> drooling next by. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so troll. This Dalmatia. Oh wait, what's he doing? Oh, get away! He started walking in. Oh, what's he doing? <laughs> He's just rolling around. <laughs> I think that was uh, um, just a 4D chess play by Prussia. He went to Kosovo, did one yeah. casualties, baited Ottomans looks... to attack in a minus one, and then all the, the I wing think, yeah, I was gonna battle. Say, I actually, let's let's put it that way. I, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so Dalmatia is trying to stop the reinforcements, so they win the main yeah, yeah, battle yeah. before. That, but now the question is, who's gonna last longer, Ottomans? In uh, yeah, okay. Oh yeah. He does what what he could. Oh, and then they're gonna go in and suicide. Yeah, That's another two, stack wipe, two, isn't two, it? Two stack That's wipes, another... maybe even number one. Oh, yep, you're right. And number oh, two. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dude, he is getting so screwed over by these yeah. locking in reinforcements. I, I feel like he was just playing to one single player, and you know, he, he just he just got rusty. 
before Gore have to fight. <laughs> oh, poor guy. But he still has a defender. chance of winning that, honestly. I mean, he he already burned most of his professionals, so is he... Yeah, he started building mercs. He has 83,000 already. Uh, yeah, he's gonna need to because he has 40,000 yeah, manpower yeah, left after that. he reinforces. I see that. A cool wolf is still having... Oh, he's gonna also have no manpower after he reinforces his troops. And Prussia still has getting... 130,000. Prussia has to, oh, like, tank ooh. this war more. Oh my gosh. This is a fight, man. I'm here for this. This yeah. is exactly what I've been asking for this whole time. Oh, oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. But no morale. He, I think wait, that was Ottoman's manually retreating in a province. Thanks, bye. They they did. They had that, that weird retreat thing where yeah. they fled one <laughs> province over. Either that or they did it on purpose. I but think they did it on purpose. Yeah. This is only a minus one. So that's look at that another giant... win for Poles. Look, Ottomans uh, are not know. even. There's, there's 200,000 men over in Felipe or whatever. They got this. I think they had. Yeah, they just have to reinforce with the cannons, which is they just did. With the cannons there, it's. Oh. oh, yeah. Ottomans don't have any cannons. Oh, a four to a zero, a nine to a six. Oh, look, there's under 40k so coming. Under 40k coming from uh, Anatoly. That, that battle is going to be close. But I still bet on Poles. They're still. If the if the Dalmatians reinforce, he's probably fine, yeah? Oh, this is this is close. This is super close, but I've yeah, Poles are winning that. Because the Dalmatians can only reinforce that entire army, they can't cut it. Yeah, yeah. Easy win. Oh, I think the Ottomans win. No, no, Poles Poles are winning that easily. Oh, they still have a couple minutes. Yeah, and there. they yeah, yeah, look yeah. that they have uh, still more cannons. <laughs> look how overstacked the Ottomans are. That's crazy. They have no cannons in the back row. Yeah, though. yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Actually the 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 Dalmatia one big Oh dude, look, look who wins. It's the Ottomans so cool. win. What a Pyrrhic victory that is. Oh, that's the Ottomans have all now lost eight hundred. Oh boy, <laughs> I think Poland and Prussia has to have to start thinking about uh, Mercs, because otherwise the, the you know this eighty thousand Mercs that Ottomans are using, they're gonna win that war. A hundred thirty thousand oh, Mercs. I'm so sorry. He recruited more. Oh, we've got another battle. Oh, the Ottomans fighting rebels. So what is the war exhaustion looking like, actually? Oh, Ottomans are up to six war exhaustion. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's Attri bad. Attrition, that's really bad. Attrition mainly, yeah. And yeah, the oh, swipes really are also hurting. Nine war. I'm nine worried. national unrest. I'm really worried about Poland. They are not recruiting any mercs. And they just started slackening a while ago. Because if yeah, Ottomans he, are running on 130,000 mercs, this is a huge difference in the manpower polls. They might not need it, though. If they can keep winning with the Prussian quality, like the Prussian generals and stuff like that, uh, long, we'll see. This is, this is too long war, potentially. Uh, they yeah. This is a huge difference right now. Let's see here. We've got another battle going on in the woods over here. Dalmatia getting uh, thoroughly shellacked with their discipline slash drill loss general. Yeah. That's what they were doing. They were just trying to drill up their army real quick to get a little bit of extra edge in the yeah. battle, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Drilling on the sidelines <laughs> of the war. <laughs> oh, Ottomans are going to win this battle as well. If they don't rein... They're not reinforcing. They fled. They fled. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What is going on? Why would they do that? Commonwealth side have 260,000 troops by now. No manpower. It's oh like Ottomans have half of this just in mercs. You know, the quality difference We've, is not going to be enough if they do not start recruiting we have actual a, mercs. We have a milestone, though, Zlevik. We just hit 1 million losses for the Ottoman side. Oh, yeah. Let's go. They're taking 2 to 1 losses. I know Poland is actually running 90 balance. They they can get <laughs> mercs. They're not just not doing That's that. That's crazy. Yeah, they're, We've definitely they're got just... a war on our hands. We've got some poles that can reinforce, but this one actually looks like an L. Yeah, Ottomans actually have 80,000 in Constantinople. <laughs> so with this, that would be easy. Without them, I think that's still winning that, but it's going to be a close I one. I think... Oh, oh, that's no. a really, oh, that's yeah, a really yeah, close yeah, yeah. one. Oh, zero. A one to a nine. Oh, that's, that's so, so close. I don't know who's going to win that. That's a dub. I, oh, that's, we, a that's Prussia. Ottomans that's are losing Prussia. that, yeah. I mean, yeah, but honestly, look, 80,000, oh, 80,000, so 80, right, just next by. <laughs> They're at 44 war score now, Come and they well, don't even have the, if you're they don't even have the war goal. Get the Mercs, the get the Mercs oh, here. The I lied. They have the war goal. Yeah, they do. I'm worried about Poland. Look at the, like, if you take a look at the war scheme, look at the difference in quantity. Even the in the amount of calf, they are even right now. And they Their have two hundred and numbers are dangerously two hundred sixty thousand right yeah. more infantry. Let's take take away the all of these little vassals. It's probably like two hundred and thirty thousand difference in the infantry. That's worrying. But look at the manpower recovery speed for the Ottomans is like absolutely tanking. With this war exhaustion is not to be ignored though. Oh yeah. This war exhaustion is is it's funny because I don't think there's anything else going on in, in Europe because everybody wants to watch this war. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did Silas die killed. already? No, he's still See, he's still no. there. <laughs> <laughs> 20 Seelan, one exhaustion. No. Oh, Seelan, you poor soul. <laughs> Plus 28 national unrest. Let's go. Oh, what can you do? What can you do? 45 unrest in Tokachi. 
Ouch. <laughs> I think so, we're about to have another hmm. battle in Kolubara, the same for the just fought them. Yes, uh, but for if Ottomans reinforces it correctly, well, there's no chance. The quantity difference. He's also standing there taking 7.5% attrition in Raska. Oh. So Ottomans being a bit of a dingus, to be honest. With you. <laughs> he forgot probably about the yeah. attrition changes. Oh man! Oh yeah! That um, imagine exceeding the attrition tick. Let's see this other battle. How it's gonna go? Oh, yep, we do have it. It's a minus one again. And uh, Prussia is four to one losses right now, two to one losses. It's it's worth to shout out that actually general on the Prussian side, six, six. Why Ottomans have five, five. So not yeah, only- Andy's got, yeah. mm -hmm, you're right. That 31, that 11% discipline overhead plus 0.5% morale. They're not just beating in morale. They're winning in morale and discipline. Yeah, but well, I mean, the difference between Commonwealth and Ottomans are not that big, right? It's actually right. Commonwealth has less discipline than-, than... But Prussia's the edge. Prussia might be the edge that the Commonwealth needs. Yeah. I mean, that will be even bigger before Oof, they change. A little overstacking going on here. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Uh, that's un unfortunate. I don't know why he just ran they in with a full 80k stack. They need marks right now. Not, oh, to, yeah. not to mention Ottomans. that Iraq is sitting even down in Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> that's an AI subject. Gonna crack Actually them open. Actually being useful. Once and once they take that fort, Warsaw is wide open too, by the yeah. way. Hey, honestly, no you're right with the like overstacking. They could have a chance of winning that with good rolls if they didn't like, reinforce it just a oh, bit slower. 10% attrition? 10% attrition? Let's go. What not for uh, a month tick? I don't maybe think they're going to get the tick. Yeah. No, well, maybe, oh, maybe. 9.5, 9.5. No, don't run away. Stay there. It's a good it. province. <laughs> 6.5. Oh, no, 3.5. Hey, look at that. Oh, just kidding. Now. He took 4.9 over here in Raska, though. The Ottomans have lost... How many men have they lost to attrition? Let's take a look here. Have These numbers... 340,000. Oh, they've lost 1.3 million men. Oh, thank you so much, Commonwealth. I appreciate you for declaring this war. The Persians are marching towards Kiev right now. Thanks. Don't tell him. He's going to take a promise. I, and he he's going to lose it immediately. He doesn't know. He's going to take Ostfriesland. And he's going to instantly lose it because I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yep. He got declined. He denied his peace deal. We've got another battle. Oh, Prussians right, having right, some right. fight uh, fun on minus two. And they're doing it alone. Kovov is just chilling, coming slowly from speech. He's still, still oh, holding. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, they're not even reinforcing that. No, that's a. Uh, I'm wondering what losses were in this battle. These numbers are much more even than they used to be, though. I, I Do you see this? Look, uh, Paxony. And Bavaria also gave content here to Commonwealth. So it's actually getting help from Central <gasps> Europeans to fight with uh, As they Ottomans. should, to be fair. The Ottomans are, for all intents and purposes, the scourge of Europe in this campaign. Yeah. They need to be ganging up on Ottomans. Like, the fact that they've let them go free this whole time is not a good good move, in my opinion. This is this is smart. It, hopefully, it's not too little too late. Ottomans are yeah. running 219,000 mercs. Half of the army by this time are already mercs. Probably even over half, because some of them are reinforcing. Look at Dalmatia. You're going for a cheeky stack wipe on Herzegovina over here. <laughs> Minus four. <laughs> Make it happen. <laughs> Minus four. Feels bad. The Ottomans are standing quite a few men over here on Belgrade. And we are about picking... to have a battle oh, oh, in oh. Toronto. It's a minus two. Uh, and nobody's they take oh, that's right. No. Nobody's reinforcing that. Yeah. Like, I don't I'm understand it. You're, you're, you're sending a 20k conduit here. Why do you stand on the freaking front line? Just stay. But I know in Warsaw. Look, look at Prussia. Look at Prussia. Yeah, Prussia, Why Prussia? Why are Prussia you doing is doing Prussia things. Oh, they, oh, they might be going to. Ah, that's, uh, that's Dalmatia. Oh, they are going to fight. That's a this. minus two. They He's are taking a hill oh, fight. Then they are late. And that's a super overstock. I bet he didn't know that Belgrade was hills. Yeah. There's no reason I mean, he would have taken that all, fight. All they had to. They have still find a chance of winning that but all they had to do is to just defend their war goal oh, look. That, yeah. <laughs> Tver sieged back that Lublini or whatever province over in Ukraine so <laughs> yeah <I> got that. <gasps> is Iraq saving this battle of the Ottomans do you see this Iraq just reinforced with 14,000 letting the Ottomans win this battle zero. Letting oh it's a it's a loss for the Commonwealth barely 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 Iraq saved this battle for the Ottomans <laughs> <laughs> what a chat. Dude, the war exhaustion is going to catch up the Ottomans. The, the the war exhaustion will be the reason why the Ottomans lose, I think. They're up to 19 mm. national unrest from war exhaustion. Oh, dude. yeah. That's crazy. Oh, so many rebels loading. He wants to <laughs> he wants to finish this war now. He wants out. Now. He wants out. Yeah. Now. He, he will implode. He will not just have rebels. He will break to rebels. I mean, he can handle dealing with all of them, but he has to be out soon. Bro. But in the meantime, look, look. we've got Prussia fighting another battle. <laughs> 
<laughs> go for it, Russia. By the way, we've got new blue flames Is because France just... Yeah, he's Polish. France just attacked Hogotan again uh, <laughs> to, to, cancel, no. to cancel the Condottier of Dalmatia. Poor Hogotan. <laughs> this is like fifth conquest of Vara. <laughs> Hogatan has been absolutely just has been fully like he can't take anything from him though. It's yeah. his home state. Dalmatia so. oh. he needs help from someone. So Saxony joined this war, but the question is can he do anything there? It's, it's like even though it's a one v one with France, Burgundy, and Papal State, this is Dalmatia and Milan, right? Oh look at the battle in Parma. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they just don't That's have a the loss. quantity. There's no way he's gonna they don't have the quantity French. to win that. And not, not uh -uh. to mention 20% discipline difference. How do you have 100 discipline? At least get the advisor, my man. I mean, it's. I think it's a very big mistake of choosing both defensive and mercenary and not having quality. It's just... <laughs> Autumn in particular, so starting to run, run train. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, there's a lot. There's Let's like go. over 100 of them. Yeah, the Ottomans, they have rebels in every corner of their empire. We need more. Pump out the numbers. Get those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers, Ottomans. We've got a big fight going on. Budapest. This time, the Ottomans not getting any positive rolls. Here's the thing, though. The longer this war goes on, the better it is for Poland because the professionalism will tick down and then they'll be able to get mercs. I mean, but they're down to 117,000 troops. It's time to get mercs. The, th the Ottomans are running a deficit. Poland is running a 100 ducat positive. Yeah, he's not. So, he's just on half of his first limit now. But look, this battle in Budapest yeah, is a win. That's the battle that they should be taking, right? Not a minus three. Yeah. So we've got almost two million losses on the Ottoman side, and Poland uh, is. Otto, you've got Poland a, just hit one million. He's had his second round of rebels over here in Moldavia. Those particularists are going to be painful. Like he has to handle the particularists because his economy will collapse without it, if they enforce. So what's your opinion on how this war will end? He could possibly take Moldavia. He could push some land in, in Hungary, but like, would it really be worth it? He's steering from there, but that's about it. Oh. If he takes land in Hungary, that would take money away that would normally be going, but most of his trade is being steered up into the Baltic, so no. He could steal Crimea. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. First of all, I think there's only one, like, if nobody's gonna, you know, interact with this war, like, let's say somebody helping Ottomans, I think Ottomans have to condition surrender because the rebels are just gonna. It's not war for him. If, the, if this them. mod changes that we cannot decrease war exhaustion during war, he cannot it's only stop get it. Worse. He just yeah. cannot stop it. And I actually get some. He's at 14, by the way. 14 and a half war exhaustion. I, I, I got some information from uh, Le Monde that apparently Ottomans is asking Commonwealth to take a break in the war so he can deal with the rebels. <laughs> And in my opinion, uh, that will not do anything because you cannot decrease our exhaustion. So even if I break, your exhaustion is still yeah. improving. It will still be getting rebels everywhere. Uh, unless he's hoping to let all of the rebels pass, kill all of them, and the finish rebels, the war the in the meantime. Take a look at the rebels map all of you at the ones. Yeah, it doesn't I look too good. It. Oh my god. I have. I thought for a second, I thought I was looking at like the development map mode. Oh, we've got another battle, Prussia. Belgrade this time. Oh, so this is a minus two for Prussia. Apparently it was Poland saying, uh, proposing it, and Ottoman said exactly what I said. It won't help. <laughs> oh, doing? that's a minus four from Prussians. Why? All you have to it do is not fight two. a minus four. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a fort, is it not? Yeah, it's a fort it and it's a crossing. A so I'm worried that Poland might actually lose it because of lack of reserves. He, oh, that's Poland close. No so reserves. close, they're losing it. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they, they had didn't no have reserves. enough reserves. Yeah. Oh, more? More particularists? <laughs> So how, how many, many do we have now? Yeah, that's also what I wanted to ask. Where are the particulars? 177. Let's go. <laughs> we need to pump up. They have like as many particulars as the as the Ottomans have infantry. Got some updates in France. Uh, they took Parma. And it looks like Bavaria used this moment to attack Dalmatia, oh. thinking that they are weak right now. But Interesting. I don't think they have a chance against the Dalmatians. Dalmatia <laughs> cannot fight yeah. France, but they can fight Bavaria. No. Now the question is yeah, who's going to help Bavaria? Smart. Because there's Trier and Frankfurt in this war, and the Netherlands. If they all come, it's an easy war. That's a cringe as well, because it's like 4v1. <laughs> but let's see what they right. do. Yeah, it looks like Frankfurt is on their way. Oh, they're both coming. Trier and Frankfurt are both on their way. Though, to be fair, he did take Graz from Bavaria, so can, it may be justified not, to attack I mean, and kind of gang up on him, right? Not a gang, right? Well, I mean, if he's too weak for a 1v1, okay, call one friend, but three of them, come on. You consider this a gang? 
Yeah, the first rebels are about to break. All the separatists will break in 14 months. All the <laughs> nation is swinging the battle of grass. It looks like. I I firmly believe it was a mistake. It was a misplay taking grass instead of Oberkarten. I think they just thought they have so much better quantity because so apparently Commonwealth is lucky because not only he still does not have any mercs, but apparently he also got an event for 150k manpower from uh, oh. Parliament. Oh, what a meme! Oh, no, that's from so same unfortunate. from same. So he chose a debate, hands, gained hands 17,000 manpower, he won the debate, and there it goes. We're at 42% war score, and it's pretty steady. I think, yep, we have maxed out the ticking war score. So at this point, Ottoman needs to kind of suck it up and accept an unconditional surrender. Or, yep. Oh, we have peace. Peace in our time. Oh. What? They so took I see two some... provinces. No, it's, <laughs> oh, they, it's they whole, annexed Crimea. Whole Crimea and uh, Vienna all of Cr and Pest. They're they're gonna re-release the Crimea. Yeah, they have to. I, I assume so. Let's see how it must do with the rebels. I want to see that <laughs> because oh, he no. managed to reduce for exhaustion, but only to six. He doesn't have more diplo points. So another rebel. Okay, so Look at pretty much no more rebels are loading. Independence rebels. He's gonna lose his his islet over in Tripolitania. Yeah, uh, he's gonna he be fine. Because he needs to get through sixty thousand rebels. In he's he's Egypt. gonna be fine. I mean, <laughs> look at the rebels in Egypt. Oh I, my I, God. I mean, if I was France, I would really strongly considering consider attacking Ottomans now. Oh. Yeah, Tripolitania is breaking free in four months, by the way. Can do this. So, <laughs> yeah, Tripolitania is going to go free. He's got 90,000 men in Cephalonia, an island over on the, in Greece. Yeah, I see. Because reasons. So, yeah, I think he got a little in over his head. He just dumped all of his Diplo to get his war exhaustion down. Probably smart. He's about to lose a little bit of land in Africa to Alsen separatists. Yeah, well, he's going to be fine. It's an easy reconquest. Yeah, the particulars are the scary ones, to be fair. Because that autonomy would mm. really hurt his economy for a long time. But he's already making it positive again. How many loans did he take out? 15. Oh, he's 21,000 yeah, ducats in debt. You know, with his balance, he's going to fix yeah. that in like one well, hour of a gameplay. Unless France fleet. attacks. I think Poland <laughs> also took full money because he has 9,000 ducats. Yeah. Crimea is now a subject. And yep. I assume he's also going to give that Kaffa province. Oh, maybe he'll keep it, though. That is a trade center. Mm -hmm. Wasn't Kaffa one of the goals as well? I'm not sure. Vienna, Budapest, and Kaffa are all goals. Ooh, so that was a super power play. That is so like, good. Like, very well may dethrone the Ottomans from the number one spot. That is so good. So now he just needs the Emperor, HRE Emperor, to kick the bucket, and he will get a very nice influx. So, yeah, he's going to gain an additional 400 points, and the Ottomans are going to gain 400 points less. That's... So, I think I know one particular person that is super happy about that. And uh, Lubeck up there? Yeah, maybe... <laughs> we should move uh, to the Dalmatian war though, because he's trying yes, to I'm defend on Fury it. and minus Fruity. four for the enemies. It's hills. But he's oh, so outnumbered. At least he started recruiting mercs. Does he have only one stack? Oh no, he has 90,000 mercs. Most I of his army is mercenaries by this point. Yeah, they're going to take that fort. So long term, I think Dalmatia could win that defending, but I don't think he can push into Bavaria. And he needs more marks. The question is, can he even recruit more marks? Does he have anything? Yeah, he can. He can recruit Stratioti. And that's... No, he can recruit like four more Merc stacks. He just probably doesn't want to int yet. He's already on minus 70 balance. Another Merc stack will be making probably 120 or even more. Oh, we've got a big Tripoli. He called it. Yeah. Too well, bad they, they didn't lose Tunis. If only they lost Tunis, that's another province of points. <laughs> it's 166 war score for the Ottomans. They need two wars <laughs> to retake it. Okay, we've got a battle in Friuli. Oh, okay. So it's actually the Nesha attacking on minus two, even though he's losing uh, the war. But uh, let's see how it goes, because he did pump up a lot of new troops. And right. Milan is going all in for him. Milan is losing 80 ducats works. a month for this war. <laughs> let's <death> go. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, number 2137 for the for yeah. Hogatan. So this battle, I think this is going to be a win for Bavaria, though. Yeah, I mean, it's close, Ooh, but... They rolled no. a 7, and It's five. also a general difference, it seems. It's 3-6 oh, general versus... A, look, it's a 3-6 no, uh, general oh. versus a 6-6 six, six general. Yeah, that extra fire damage is going to be taking crazy from that. Who is general? Oh, it's Bavaria itself. They popped Treviso, and now they're going to be stealing it real quick. Uh, oh yeah, my level gosh, yes. And it's GG for the main show about it. Clemens August leaving Zani. What kind of... That doesn't I don't know like why, very... why he did that, because Treviso was his last province to defend on and yet he went and attack on Fury. The thing is is like what's he what else can he do? Because he can't go into Trent. I he mean he can't he can't wait it out because he's gonna be taking war exhaustion. Like if the longer he waits, the worse it is for him. Look, so I think it was kind of do or die, you know Bavaria is losing hand twenty ducats a month. Why getting thirty from Frankfurt and Lübeck? 
350 that gets from Frank and Lubeck. So actually Bavaria was burning faster than him. Yeah, Dalmatia's losing 160 ducats a month. Oh uh, yeah, he's about to get some some stack wipes going on on his side, I think. Uh, he just won in Ferrara, actually. Oh no, no, one more day. Yeah, he won. So, and he took Treviso. What is let's this? Let's go. Bavaria. Let's go. Okay, is he gonna barrage it though? This is. Oh, he did it. <sighs> Dalmatia is so angry. Will he be on time? It. All he had to do probably is to just defend Treviso. Well, now he's losing it. That's he's just, marching at 12 he stack in now. to kill themselves. I mean, if it was one v two, he would win it easily. But one v three or four of them are fighting yeah. it's free because I... it's bavaria flank frontier that are actually participating yeah it's jover what are the casualties here actually i love oh, the 500 over over a million men look how how close is this battle even though it's Dalmatia fighting on minus two imagine with, if they actually defended on minus two not attacks with an 18 percent discipline it's, it's because now, they have mercs yeah he, he's fully on mercs and he recruits another 40k of independent <laughs> he's company he's sending 40k with no morale he's about to get them stack wiped oh, oh. Three days late. Rip. You that know, is so tragic. Because he was thinking for like, okay, should I reinforce and uh, like after a month leak? What he's doing right now? But instead, he instead of going immediately, he was oh, just. Uh, yeah, we're yeah, ending. Yeah, we're ending on a that's cliffhanger. A well, ending. safe to say those. Yeah, those fat forty k is dead. Well, okay. So big takeaway from today: the Ottomans are indeed not unstoppable we've so very is, much found so out is france the ottomans can bleed the Fran french are definitely not unstoppable let's go talk to lady magnus see kind of what she thinks about stuff because i definitely have some <laughs> words but i'd be curious to hear what you think about it uh that was beautiful yeah i mean that making ottomans bleed like that i think is very important the despots very much now have a power shift where the commonwealth yes. i think I, I'd be willing to say that I, I favor the Commonwealth over France right now in their current situation because I think Ferran France taking Burgundy does kind of put a target on them. Yeah, I agree with that, actually. I think that now I, I would probably look at Poland, I think, as being the strongest. What do you think, Slavic? Well, I think this war showed one very important thing. Um, having a free game and expanding so much is a double-edged sword. Because once you start losing in a war and you get a high war exhaustion, which you cannot decrease, oh. like in vanilla, you right. might want to be out fast. That is a lot of land to travel to kill yeah. a lot of yeah. rebels. Well, you have a lot of enemies in your land. Well, and, yeah. and I think I think Poland kind of had it too, because Poland's like, would you just go fight your rebels? And it's true, you guys called it early oh. on that if they, the longer that they stayed in that war, the more rebels that they were going to have, and. Do you yeah. think Chewy that that was part of his demise was all of the rebels that started popping up? So he had not only had that oh, yeah. war, but now he's got the rebels that he's got to deal with. Yeah, I mean, it, the longer if he were to stay in that war any longer, he would have lost land to rebels, and he already lost yeah. what Zelda yeah. had said, like 150 dev. Yes. He would have lost way more if he would yeah. have stayed in. Like yeah, just one more year of the war, he would lose probably another like two That's nations. Insane. All right, so yeah. one question, one last question for each of you, Slavic. What do you expect to see for next week? I think the Dalmatia is gonna <laughs> die. Unfortunately, okay. I was rooting yeah. for them, but I think they're gonna die. Yeah, and you know, there was multiple <laughs> scenarios, multiple wars where he got like no help from anyone. He did yeah. not get any That's ally true. in any of these wars, and. He's gonna post probably uh, die on it. I would love Sealand to form uh, Japan, and I think that's gonna happen. And uh, <laughs> I think France is gonna be mainly targeting Quebec right now to not let him uh, go away with the points okay. with the Ottomans yep. losing. I think the Commonwealth is going to turn to Lubeck. I think they're gonna be their okay. next target, and I think they have to be because. Commonwealth taking those points, as Iron had said in the Discord chat, they just took three victory points, like, you know, yes. victory points from the Ottomans, which is a huge point swing, and that instantly puts them as a contender for the winner. But they have to overcome Lubeck, who has had a very True. free game. Aside from those wars early on, it's been very free for him as far as just sitting there, developing, collecting all of the money. I think. Interesting. All right. Well, I will see both of you next week. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Have a good week, everybody. You too. In the next episode of Imperial Ambitions, France attacked Brabant. They did. Okay, yeah, it's got a big battle going on right here. Yeah, oh, these rolls are this. terrible for Burgundy, though. Do you remember we how we talked that Ottomans are expanding too much? Well, he's expanding more. He just declared on fires. It's really Central Leroy Europe versus France. Jenkins. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's F for France in this battle, and maybe it even more. It is Jover. Let's oh, go, boy. And they're just all going in, <laughs> even though they already won the puzzle. Make sure to subscribe for the next episode of Imperial Ambitions.